For two giant pandas, the trip from Scotland to China this weekend meant rock star treatment and a brand new million dollar home in the Edinburgh Zoo. The two pandas took an 11 hour flight to Scotland in a specially fitted cargo plane dubbed the Panda Express. Traveling with them, four experienced pilots, a Chinese vet, two staff members from the Edinburgh Zoo, and 120 kilograms of bamboo. China is loaning the pandas to Scotland for 10 years. On their trip, the panda pair also got in-flight meals featuring a menu of bamboo, apples, carrots, mineral water, and panda cake. One researcher told the Scotsman the two endangered bears are worth all the hullabaloo. Pandas are not just zoological entities. They are political animals, economic drivers. They are reputation raisers. They are the most amazing PR tool. Pandas are a press officer's dream. You don't even have to do anything. Sky News says the panda loan represents good relations between China and Scotland, too. It's a recognition of Edinburgh Zoo's reputation in conservation, but this is a sign of just how close Scotland and China are culturally, um, in terms of the relationship, uh, diplomatically, economically. Uh, the First Minister is out in China today, uh, starting a week-long visit. So this is, uh, is great, and 5,000 miles later, and the Panda Express is, is now here. But the director of the Captive Animals Protection Society told the BBC she worries the panda move is too politically motivated and that the zoo isn't focusing on its other animals enough. To introduce the pandas into the equation is not only a backward step in terms of conservation and ethics, but the cost that comes with them means that the zoo is putting extra pressure on their finances when they should be focusing on ensuring they meet the most basic standards for the animals already there. In short, it doesn't bode well. Costly indeed, the zoo will spend $100,000 annually on bamboo alone. Britain is also involved in the panda deal, which marks the beginning of a joint panda research program between the UK and China. Britain will pay China $1 million a year during the 10-year stay. But the zoo plans to make money through ticket and gift shop sales, and its money dreams may come true. When it announced the pandas were coming, the zoo's website crashed from heavy traffic. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs, Multiple Sources, The Real Story.